Hi friends, once again back to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today the topic of our discussion is which is the site of cell respiration. As we all know, cell respiration has three steps. Step one is glycolysis, that is followed by Krebs cycle. Then there is electron transport chain. The first step, that is the conversion of glucose to pyruvate, occurs in the cytosol or cytoplasm of the cell this region of the cell this is an enlarged view of this cytoplasm now we have glucose that is converted to pyruvate with the production of ATP and NADH next two steps that is Krebs cycle and electron transport chain occurs inside mitochondria let us zoom in this mitochondria mitochondria is a double membrane bound organelle with an outer membrane, an inner membrane that is folded towards inside towards matrix. It is called as a powerhouse of the cell as majority of ATP is synthesized inside mitochondria. And this matrix has many enzymes and matrix is a site of Krebs cycle whereas electron transport chain occurs in the inner mitochondrial membrane. Now let us move into the detail. Now we have pyruvate after glycolysis. This pyruvate is transported to mitochondria. Then there is a link reaction where pyruvate is converted to acetyl coenzyme A. Point number two is the link reaction. The site of link reaction is matrix of mitochondria. Now we have acetyl coenzyme A that enters Krebs cycle. The site of Krebs cycle is also the matrix. It's also called as TCA cycle, citric acid cycle, etc. From Krebs cycle, NADH, FADH2 and small amount of ATP is synthesized. This reduced NADH and FADH2 then enters the electron transport chain. As you can see, this electron transport chain is located on the inner mitochondrial membrane. This protein complexes that is involved in electron transport chain is located in the inner mitochondrial membrane. So electron transport chain is happening in the inner mitochondrial membrane. So you can see the protein complexes. The electrons from this NADH and FADH2 enters this protein complexes and moves through this protein complexes. During this journey, the energy is used to pump H plus from matrix to the intermembrane space. So the next point is proton pumping is from matrix to the intermembrane space that is the space between outer mitochondrial membrane and inner mitochondrial membrane. So here comes the creation of proton gradient. The number of protons within this intermembrane space increases so to reach equilibrium it should move out. The only way out is ATP synthesis. So you can see this ATP synthesis. When these protons move through this ATP synthesis, that energy is used to phosphorylate ADP to ATP. So proton driven ATP synthesis is happening in the inner mitochondrial membrane. And the next point is ATP synthesis is occurring towards the matrix side. So the protons while moving through this ATP synthase enzyme, this ADP and PA, this will be having an active site in this region and that will combine by the force of this proton movement and finally forming ATP. So ATP is synthesized in the matrix region. I hope you are clear with all these events. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.